welcome back with another video in this video we are going to be discussing about a forced oscillation what do you mean by forced oscillation whenever if you consider a body take this pendulum it will be producing a simple harmonic motion repeatedly but it is in a damped medium where the restoring force and the resistive force is acting to bring this body to the alt position. Whenever this is coming to the alt position, by externally the person or any force applied on a body, then the body gets re -oxygenated. The wave pattern will be like this. The damp oscillation is, it is reducing amplitude. Whenever the force is applied, it will increase its amplitude and re -oxygenate. Such a kind of oscillation is called as force now, oscillation. Let us derive an expression for a forced oscillation which is differential equation of a forced oscillation. Now we can take, consider a body of mass M which is in a damping medium which is in a damping medium if you consider the body in a damping medium then I need to do the force oscillation the external force which is setting an oscillation is given by M sine P take it as equation number one and since it is a damped oscillation I need to consider the two factors the one is restoring force the another one is a resistive force now the resistive force is given by force is given by negative of R into dx by dt take it as equation number two where R is equal to damping constant. Now, since the restoring force force it is also acting on a body, it can be given by negative of k into x take it as equation number. 3 where k is equal to force constant of the oscillating body. So here I have used the term P which is angular frequency frequency of external force this is an angular frequency of an external force what we have imposed now by taking a resultant force it can be written as negative of r dx by dt and negative of kx and plus f psi p take it as equation number 4 now by Newton's second law of motion I can clearly say that force is equal to mass into acceleration where I can write this as m into d square x by dt by r take it as equation number 5 
Now what, what I will do, I will take this equation number 5 and 4 because both are the resultant force. Both are the resultant force and I will combine and form an equation. So, the equation will be d square x plus dt square and here it is a negative sign. If you shift this, it becomes positive r into dx by dt plus k into x which is equal to here sin p. Now, here you can observe the mass is the indulgence for this entire equation. So, what I need to do, I will divide the entire equation by mass. So, the equation turns to d square x dt square plus r by m dx by dt plus k by m into x is equal to f by m by p here R by M it is equal to constant to B and K by M is equal to omega square where omega square is the natural frequency of an oscillating body. I can write D square X DT square plus 2b dx plus dt plus omega square into x is equal to f by m by p. So, this equation will represent e, this equation will represent the forced Differential equation of force oscillation.